On the previous part, we got to see Goku showcase his power and show off the new form that he's achieved. We also got to see Broly, Trunks, Gohan, and even Perigus join the Galactic Patrol. So now that we got the recap out of the way, let's get straight into part 8 of what if Goku was the reincarnation of Majin Buu. Goku's curious to see what Gohan has been up to since he's joined the Galactic Patrol. He's trying to convince Vegeta to come along with him so that he can check it out because Trunks is also there. He's pretty sure that Vegeta is also very curious because who do they actually know that's a part of the Galactic Patrol besides them two? Vegeta gives in. Goku holds his shoulder and searches for Gohan's key. Then he teleports to him. Goku and Vegeta appears out of nowhere and startles Gohan because he wasn't even expecting them. Goku looks around and he's impressed. This place looks pretty cool. Gohan asks what are they doing here? Trunks runs into the room to see what all the commotion is and he's shocked to see his father. Vegeta notices that Trunks has a tail now, but he doesn't think too hard about it. He'll probably just ask Trunks about it some other time or just later on. Vegeta would go on to tell both of them that Kakarot missed them and he wanted to be nosy to see what they were up to. Goku tells Vegeta that he missed Trunks as well and Vegeta looks away because it's true. Gohan and Trunks catches them up on what they've been up to and Trunks even mentions that he's met and recruited two new Saiyans and that they're on this ship right now. Both Goku and Vegeta say two more Saiyans and Gohan says yeah. Although at times the older one Paragus feels a little off like he's hiding his true intentions. Trunks walks out and he goes to search for Broly and Paragus and Broly will be the first one he finds but not Paragus. He leaves a note inside that room so when Paragus come back he can read it and know where they are. Trunks introduces Broly to Goku and his dad and he even tells him that Broly actually is pretty strong. He has some type of hidden crazy power that he can't really control and when they first ever sparred against him he would fight pretty wild but this would go in one ear and out the other. Goku doesn't even care. He's just intrigued to see another sin and he wants to fight him since he heard that he was strong. Goku would start to ask them where could he and Broly actually spar it. He wants to test out his power right now. And luckily, Gohan tells him that he could actually fight Broly. Since they don't have any missions right now, it would be okay. But he doesn't think it would be a good idea to fight here. Both of their powers are too chaotic. Goku would agree. Maybe his power is too wild. But he has somewhere in mind. Goku tells everyone to hold on to him, then he teleports them to the world of the Kai's. The Supreme Kai is happy to see Goku and the others, but he questions who is this guy next to them. And Goku tells him that his name is Broly, and he's a Saiyan. The Supreme Kai thinks it's great that they found another Saiyan, but he begins to sweat. Why would they bring him here? Surely they don't care enough to show him that they found another Saiyan. Something isn't right. Goku grins. He tells him that he brought him here to test out his power. The Kai wouldn't have a problem with this, since the Saiyans have trained here before. But somehow, he still has a bad feeling. He doesn't even know that Broly's power isn't like the other Saiyans. Vegeta would want to interfere and fight Broly first, but he doesn't when he remembers how he took over Kakarot's fight with King Cole. So he just sits back and watches with Gohan and Trunks. Plus, who knows? This Broly character probably isn't even that strong. Goku tells Broly that he doesn't have to hold back. He's strong enough to handle that uncontrollable power of his. Broly thinks about it. What if he loses control? The training he's done with Mirrors and the other Saiyans have been beneficial, but what if that wasn't enough? What if he kills everyone here because of his power? Goku can see the look on Broly's face and he tells him just to trust him. Goku goes into a fighting stance and Broly does as well. Broly rockets towards Goku to strike him, but to his surprise, Goku weaved out of the way. Goku places his hands on Broly's rib cage and Broly's body is sent flying. Broly's confused. That hurt it, but it doesn't even make sense. The only thing he did was touch me. How did my body fly this far? This guy is different. Broly begins to smile and he's excited. His sand blood is pumping and he wants more. Goku tells Broly to come at him. Broly rockets down faster than he did before and even his punches has more power to them. He even transforms into the Akira state without realizing. He's just having so much fun. Goku is actually pushing him. Vegeta is surprised. This Saiyan is pretty strong. He's letting off so much power and he hasn't even transformed into a Super Saiyan. Could he possibly be a freak of nature just like Kakarot? Goku is still in his base form, but seeing Broly use his Akira form reminds him of his Berserk form. Goku creates space between him and Broly and he tells him that he has a form similar to the one he's in right now. Broly raises an eyebrow. He thought he was the only one who had something like this. Till a pink aura surrounds Goku's body and his muscle grows and his hair rises. Wow, he wasn't lying. Goku is more interested than Broly thought. Goku smiles and he looks at his hands. This form brings back memories. He thinks about the first time he ever used it against King Piccolo and when he used it against Vegeta. It's also surprising to see that someone else has a form like this. Broly could possibly be someone that could actually give him a challenge. Could Broly actually be Goku's new Saiyan rival? Broly and Goku clash. Goku would begin to notice that Broly's power is rapidly growing as he fights, but it still feels like he's holding something back. Goku and Broly rush towards each other and they meet fists. A shockwave will come from this. 
A golden greenish aura enveloped Broly's hand for just a second, and Goku noticed this. He has to see this power. Broly has to show him. Goku tells Broly to stop holding back, show his real power. Surely he's proven enough that he's more than capable of handling his power. Besides, he still has power he hasn't displayed as well. Goku's eyes flashes red, and Broly starts to believe him. Maybe he can handle my power. Broly tells Goku, Broly starts to tell Goku that he's only able to control himself in this form for just a little bit. But maybe that's because he's never felt like he ever had to use his power, or faced anyone who's made him ever want to actually use it. Both Gohan and Trunks gets a flashback of the power Broly's talking about, Super Saiyan. Gohan tells Vegeta and the Kais that Broly's Super Saiyan isn't like theirs. The best way to compare his transformation of Super Saiyan is to when his father transforms into a Super Saiyan, or even a Super Saiyan 2. It's just that powerful. Broly begins to power up, and the Super Saiyan aura envelops his body, and his hair turns golden. Broly's pupils would disappear, and he begins to scream out loud, and his power burst out of him even more. But then, they reappear. He's gained control of himself. Goku smiles at Broly. He knew he was able to do it. Goku would transform into a Super Saiyan as well, because he just knows that the Berserk form won't be enough to handle Broly's power. In Beerus' world, his ear starts to twitch. He asks Whis, does he feel that? And he tells him yes. It feels like Goku's power. But the power he feels the most belongs to someone else. Could Goku be facing off against someone? Beerus demands Whis to take him to Goku now. He has to know who Goku is fighting. They teleport to the Kai's planet, and the Supreme Kai bows before him. The Elder Kai side-eyes Beerus, and he talks under his breath. The Beerus looks at him. Who let you up? The Supreme Kai tells Beerus that it's a long story. Then they all just look up at Goku's fight. Beerus is surprised to see that Goku is actually fighting another Saiyan. Because for all he knew, he thought he knew all the remaining Saiyans. Goku smirks. He transforms into a Super Saiyan 2, and he tells Majin Buu to wake up. Super Buu groans. He tells Goku he was wondering when he'll let him fight. Goku's scleras turn black, and his voice deepens. Goku cracks his neck, and he even stretches for a little bit. Broly would be confused, but all of a sudden, Goku's power feels different. Goku looks at Big Broly, and he chuckles. In a deep voice, Buu tells Goku that he actually found a real challenge, and Broly is confused even more. Why does he sound like that? Why is his eyes black? Pink electricity begins to crackle around Goku's body, and his aura bursts out of him. Goku rockets towards Broly and kicks him in his chest. Broly is sent flying. Broly starts to charge up an attack from his mouth, and he shoots it at Goku. Goku looks down at Vegeta, and he smirks. Then he shoots a gallic gun at Broly's attack and cancels it out. Vegeta was smirk, and he would continue to watch the fight alongside everyone else. But to his surprise, Trunks walks up to him, and he asks him could they spar. He wants to show him how strong he's become. Vegeta is interested, so he obliges to Trunks' request. Then he walks over to a clear area of space, and they get into the fighting stances. Trunks begins to charge up his power, and he goes through the first two Super Saiyan forms. When he reaches the third form, Vegeta would think he's done. He tells Trunks that he did get stronger, but he's already seen this form before. Vegeta transforms into a Super Saiyan 4, then he begins to rush towards Trunks. Trunks smirks. He tells Vegeta that he isn't done yet. Trunks' aura begins to flare up even more, and his hair changes back to his original color. Trunks lets out a loud scream, and Vegeta wouldn't even be able to attack him, because Trunks' power would have blown him away. Red fur begins to grow around Trunks' arms, and his hair shrinks into the style of a Super Saiyan 4. Vegeta is amazed. His son has done it. He's reached level 4. He's followed in his footsteps, and reached the power he has wanted him to achieve since he gained it. It's all starting to make sense to him now. Vegeta tells Trunks, is this why he has his tail now? And Trunks smiles and nods his head. Vegeta's proud. He commends his son. But now, the real fight begins. Broly and Goku even pause their fight to look over at both Vegeta and Trunks. Goku is glad to see that Trunks was able to achieve this power, and he's proud of him. And Gohan is proud as well. Vegeta and Trunks will clash. Trunks will use his sword to his advantage and sends powerful slashes at Vegeta, causing him to jump back. Trunks begins to send multiple slashes at Vegeta, giving him no room to move. Trunks even throws his sword at Vegeta with all his strength, and Vegeta is confused by this. Why would Trunks even throw his entire sword? And as Trunks' sword starts to near Vegeta, Trunks blears out of sight and catches his sword, then slams it down towards Vegeta's face. Vegeta will catch the sword once it's an inch away from his face, and his hands start to bleed. Whis would tell Beerus that what Vegeta's son had just done was pretty impressive. Giving the sword momentum by throwing it with all his strength, then catching it just to strike Vegeta was indeed a great tactic, even though Vegeta caught it. Beerus would agree. The way that kid utilizes his weapon is pretty impressive. Vegeta's grip on Trunks' sword is starting to slip, and he's beginning to be pushed into the ground, creating a crater where he's standing. Trunks pours more power into his sword, causing his father to struggle even more. 
Vegeta tells Trunks that he's doing pretty well, even pushing him to the point where he has to take his transformation even farther. Vegeta uses the full power of Super Saiyan 4, and he pushes Trunks back. He tells Trunks that this is the full power of Super Saiyan 4. This is what he should strive to achieve next. Vegeta appears in front of Trunks and smashes his fist into Trunks' stomach, then grabs him by his hair and throws him into the ground. Trunks gets up and he jumps back. He slams his sword into the ground, then puts both of his hands together to formulate a blast. Trunks screams out Final Flash as yellow lightning starts to crackle around his body. He screams out to Vegeta that this is his strongest attack. Vegeta smiles and he charges up his own attack. When Trunks shoots his Final Flash, Vegeta screams out Final Shine attack and they go into a beam struggle. But unknown to everyone, someone has traveled through time. When Goku arrives, he realizes that nobody is there. He does feel multiple strong power signatures from far away, and one of them actually feels like Goku's power. Piccolo teleports down where Goku is, and he immediately shoots a special beam cannon at him, but he does nothing. The blasts go right through him. Goku's skin will regenerate, and Goku would look at Piccolo and smirk. Was that supposed to kill me? Piccolo grits his teeth. Piccolo grits his teeth, and he screams out Kaioken times 2000. He rushes towards Buku to attack him, but to his surprise, his attacks do absolutely nothing to him. Buku would commend Piccolo for getting stronger, and if he was someone else, Piccolo would have been able to kill him. But sadly, he isn't. Buku punches a hole through Piccolo's chest and kicks him away. There you go, Piccolo. You can finally retire. Buku flies into space towards Goku's power, and Piccolo telepathically reaches Goku and tells him he's coming and he's much stronger than before. Goku's heart drops. He screams Piccolo's name, but he doesn't get a response. Broly asks Goku what's wrong, then everyone looks up into the air. Gohan begins to sweat. He's finally come back. 